Have you ever come into a situation where you realize things just weren't right? Maybe somebody was bullying a person you cared about and had been going on for so long that everyone had long accepted it as the status quo. My name is Lisa Lorenz, and that's what I encountered a few years ago when I became principal of Rice Memorial High School in South Burlington, Vermont. Many towns in Vermont don't have a public high school. In the late 1860s, the state adopted what is known as the Town Tuition Program. It allows parents in towns without high schools to send their students to a school they choose, either public or private. Yet, as the result of a misguided state Supreme Court decision in 1999, the state made one choice off limits. Parents were effectively barred from choosing a religious school for their students. Rice has been serving our community for over 100 years and is one of just two Catholic high schools in the state. Our student body consists of 400 students from a massive range of counties and towns. Some students even travel over an hour each way to get here. Not every student who comes to Rice is from a Catholic background. In fact, about a third of our students aren't Catholic. We welcome all of our students from all backgrounds, faith-based or not. Even if they don't have a Catholic or Christian foundation, these students still appreciate the spiritual aspects of their day-in, day-out experience. As practicing Catholics, we are known for our community service and the impact we have on those around us. That includes countless hours of service at homeless shelters, food pantries, Catholic charities, and so many more charitable actions that our students do throughout the state. We've even had the governor write us to thank us for the stellar example of citizenship that our students have exhibited. Many generations of families have grown up in our halls and have deep roots within the community itself. Families tell their children when they're really little, you're going to Rice, and the children are really excited for that day. Unfortunately, for over 21 years, many families were denied the opportunity to send their children to Rice. That wasn't just an inconvenience or a disappointment. It was a violation of the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. The government cannot force families to choose between exercising their religion or enjoying a publicly available benefit. People of faith deserve equal access to public benefits that everyone else gets. That principle has come to light in two recent Supreme Court cases. In 2017, the court ruled in Trinity Lutheran that denying a generally available benefit solely on account of religious identity imposes a penalty on the free exercise of religion that can be justified only by a state interest of the highest order. And just last year, the court relied on Trinity Lutheran when it ruled in Espinoza that a state need not subsidize private education. But once a state decides to do so, it cannot disqualify some private schools solely because they are religious. With the help of Alliance Defending Freedom, four of our families, plus the Roman Catholic Diocese of Burlington, which oversees our school, filed a lawsuit challenging Vermont's discriminatory policy. But even though the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit has ruled twice in our favor, the state continues to dig in its heels. Officials insist that they have good reason to exclude religious schools and students from a generally available program that allows parents to choose a school for their children. Our families pay taxes just like everyone else. It's up to the parents, not the government, to decide what kind of education their children should have. Parents shouldn't be penalized just because they want to choose a religious school. Still, I'm incredibly hopeful that the state will begin to rethink its position. Too many times, lawmakers fail to stop and inquire as to the logic and reasoning behind policies like this. That's understandable, but they still have a chance to change their mind and fall in line with what the Constitution requires. Follow our case at adflegal.org and find more videos like this at adflegal.org slash freedommatters. You can also subscribe to ADF on YouTube and follow them on Facebook.